Hello friends, welcome to Ansys Tutor. In this tutorial, we are going to analyze ventilation and wind flow in a poultry farm environment. So this is the poultry farm. It is having 32 number of inlet windows and 6 number of exhaust fans attached to it. We are going to see how the wind travels to this poultry farm. This is the part 1 of this tutorial series. In this part, we are going to see how to create this geometry. We are going to create this geometry using ANSYS Design Modeler. First, drag the fluid flow of fluid into project schematic space. Right click on this geometry and select new design modeler geometry. Keep the unit as meter. Select the XY plane. Make this sketch normal to the screen. Go to sketching tool. Draw a rectangle at this sketching plane. Now put the dimension. Now we are going to put the constants of symmetry. Symmetry about this y axis and symmetry about this x axis. Now it is fully symmetric. Now we are going to put this dimension. This is about 8.2 meter. This is about 2.2 meter. Click on generate. Now we are going to extrude this. So select the extrude tool. Select the geometry. Click on apply. Select the operation as add frozen. Enter the depth of the extrusion as 60.606 meter. Then click on generate. This is the length of this poultry farm. In the side of this poultry farm, there are two windows in this geometry. And this space is filled with a another section. So we are going to create this rectangle here. And we are going to extrude this. This is actually the cooling room, but we have not applied any heat source in this case. This is a cooling chamber room. Now extrude this one, select the art frozen option, select the depth of the extrusion as 0 0.9 meter, then click on generate. Now we are going to mirror this, mirror this to the other half also. Now say go to create tool, select body tra transformation and select mirror tool. Select this YG plane as the mirror plane. Click on apply. Now click on generate. Now this one has been mirrored to the other half also. Now we are going to unite all these three into a single part. For this go to create menu, select boolean tool, select unite operation and select all these three bodies. Then click on apply. Then click on generate. Now these three bodies has been now united into a single body. Now this is our total fluid domain. Now we are going to create the windows and the out inlet and outlets for this fan. For this go to sketching tool. Select this face of this wall. And we are going to create the part for this, create this sketch for this window. For this we are going to draw a rectangle over here on this space. Now 
now we are going to put the dimensions select the distance from this ground level let it be 1.8 meter the width and length of the window this is 1.16 meter and this width is 0.17 meter then click on generate now we are going to convert this sketch into a 2d surface for this go to concept menu select surface from sketches select this sketch click on apply and then select the operation as add frozen then click on generate a zero thickness surface has been generated using this sketch now we are going to replicate multiple copies of this window for this go to create menu and select pattern option select this surface body as this geometry click on apply now select the direction of this pattern now select offset distance and put the number of copies you want then click on generate now there are three numbers of copies now let's increase the number of offset Then click on generate. Similarly, we are going to create windows in this wall also. So select this wall. Click on sketching tool. Now insert another sketch on this new plane, plane four, and draw the profile of this window on this plane. And go to sketching. Select rectangle tool tool and draw a. profile of this window i put this dimension and distance from this ground level the horizontal distance from this wall Now put all these dimensions. Click on generate. Similarly, we are going to convert this into a two D surface. So select surface from sketches again. Click on apply. Select this sketch and click on apply. Now select the operation as add frozen. Then click on generate. This is the surface body. Now we are going to replicate similarly using the pattern tool. Now go to create menu. Select pattern. select this geometry and select the direction of this pattern reverse this direction now click on apply enter the number of copies as 12 as you need total 13 numbers of copies 13 numbers of windows in this wall we are going to modify this offset distance of this pattern so that all this windows will be aligned properly in this wall
we are going to do the mirror operation of this windows select all this me windows and do the mirror operation now select all this surface bodies and go to create select boolean operation and select operation as imprint faces select the target bodies as the fluid body and tool bodies as the surface bodies all this select all this surface body and click on apply select preserved tool bodies as no then click on generate now all this surfaces has been imprinted on this fluid domain body which would be useful for us to select the inlet and outlet for this for this fluid domain we need to modify this patterns select the pattern distance as 3 meter click on apply now all this windows domain has been generated there are total 32 numbers of windows select this face we are going to create this pan geometry on this face so again go to sketching tool draw the profile for this pan this just pan so we are going to draw a circle over here select the circle tool and draw a circle on this space put the dimension and the distance from this distance from this ground level and the distance from this nearest wall put the pan diameter as 1.30 m put the distance from this ground level now click on generate similarly we are going to convert this sketch into a 2d surface now go to concept tab and select surface from sketches select this sketch and click on apply now put in operation as add frozen and click on generate this is the pan surface we are going to replicate this similarly using the pattern tool we are going going to create another copy over here and the offset obs distance as 1.5 meter now we are going to do this mirror operation to similarly mirror this to the other side on the right hand side select the yg plane and click on generate now we have total four number of fans over here and we are going to create another two fans at this side of this fluid domain now we are going to create an it in another sketch now go to sketching tool 
similarly draw a circle over here for the dimension and the distance from this ground level and the nearest wall put the dimension I click on generate. Now we are going to convert this one into a two D surface. I click on generate. Similarly, we are going to mirror this one to the other half. Select the body transformation and mirror option. Select the surface body as the mirror body and select the YG plane as the mirror plane. Then click on apply. Now click on generate to replicate this to the other side of this wall. Now we are going to similarly imprint this fan geometry into this fluid domain so that it, this should be act as outlet for us in this lateral stage as stages of this analysis. Now go to create and select boolean tool, select the operation as imprint faces, select all this, all this target, select this fluid domain as the target body and all this surface body as this tool body. I click on generate. Now all these faces, all these surface bodies has been imprinted on this face. Our geometry is now complete. We are going to see the how to mesh this and do this solver setup in the next part.